incarnation of Dio in the Jojo's Bizarre Adventure series, none is as powerful and ruthless, in my opinion, as Part 7, Steel Ball Run's second antagonist, Diego Brando. I often see people compare Diego to the original Dio and discuss who would win in a fight between them, however I do not see Diego being compared to his own counterpart as also featured in Steel Ball Run, the alternate Diego Brando brandishing the world. A long and in-depth analysis of how this hypothetical match would turn out is interesting, since many times alternate Diego is underestimated. I find that strange, since alternate Diego won every Johnny Joe star in the end, which is often forgotten when alternate Diego's power is discussed. So in this stunt showdown, I will put the Steel Ball Run universe's Diegos up against each other and determine which Diego wields the most power and in turn, who would win in a stunt showdown. However, we cannot analyze the battle between the two without first explaining their abilities, so let's begin with normal Diego. Diego Brando, after obtaining the left eye of the Holy Corpse, were under control of Dr. Ferdinand's stand, Scary Monsters. Their ability remained after Dr. Ferdinand's own death. Diego stole the corpse part and fused it with his left eye, allowing him to retain the ability to turn himself into a dinosaur. While initially benefiting just from enhanced senses and strength, the stand and all his abilities eventually became his own. Scary Monster's main ability is to affect other living beings with a virus, aka dino aids, which in turn transforms them into dinosaurs, but also allows the user to control them, which is really powerful when conceptualizing a fight with Diego, since he can create minions from living beings to fight alongside himself. However, this transformation is portrayed inconsistently, since Diego's first transformation being gradual, while subsequent ones are instantaneous, but for the sake of the video I will assume that Diego mastered his ability, and for now on it's instantaneous. Scary Monster seems to have no limits in terms of range or number of individuals infected, as it's able to transform a whole village of humans into a group of dinosaurs. It's also free to create any type of dinosaur from raptors to t-rexes to much smaller dinosaurs, however Diego himself always turns into a Utah raptor. Diego's strategic abilities combined with scary monsters makes facing Diego a dangerous endeavor. Diego's fighting capabilities are shown off in one of my favorite fights in the series, during his battle against Funny Valentine. In said fight, Diego uses strategy and different forms of offense combined with defense leaving a versatile and deadly synergy of attacks undoubtedly injuring and even killing Valentine multiple times. In spite of this, Valentine's stand, D4C, is just too powerful and Diego is left as the loser in the end of the day. However, this fight shows the true capabilities of Diego and how ruthless he can be while he wields scary monsters. You also have to mention that much like his counterpart, Diego is one of the most talented jockeys of his generation, and during the story is considered one of the fan favorites in the Steel Ball Run race. Diego's skill allows him to ride across many different types of terrain, and he's able to use advanced techniques such as riding close to others as to use their horse as air pressure shields to get ahead in the race. Meanwhile, Diego Brando from another world, or also referred to as Alternate Diego, is a stun user, like his original counterpart but unlike the original, does not wheel scary monsters. Instead, this version of Diego possesses the mighty and unstoppable stun also wielded by Dio in the Stardust Crusaders, The World, which is stated to be the true stun of all Diegos, but the original Diego had not unlocked his true potential in this stun before his own demise. The Diego Brando from another world is much cooler and more power hungry than the original Diego, driven purely by the goal of using the corpse's power for himself. Although the original Diego shared a similar one for power and a capability for sacrificing lives, at least had honor in his goals. Alternate Diego, however, is much more willing to sacrifice innocent lives for his own sake, even mocking and berating Johnny for accidentally killing them and shows no remorse for himself. He's truly a villain and not an antagonist like the original Diego. The alternate Diego stun, the world, is almost identical to Dio's the world, a powerful humanoid stun capable of stopping time up to 5 seconds differing only slightly in appearance. One huge difference between Dio and the alternate Diego is the absence of his signature fighting mood, the Muda Muda Rush. Yes, he does the Muda punches, however alternate Diego does not use this attack at the same speed and precision as Dio's The World. Instead, alternate Diego relies on placing traps, like barbed wire or using gasoline and matches, exploiting his environment and using his time alternate powers to throw knives at his opponents like Dio himself did resulting in a dangerous stun when in close proximity of his target. Thus, to beat the world, an opponent needs to first figure out his ability, and then a method to beat him without putting themselves in harm's way. Like the original, alternate Diego is also a phenomenal horseback rider, who in stop time can move his horse using the world, and thus quickly retreat from a fight, which is gonna play a part in the battle itself. Alright, onto the showdown itself. The terrain as always will be one open battleground and one more enclosed area, with objects and opportunities of attack. For the first battle, an open fighting ground like a green grassy plain will be used. For the second, the rocky mountain village where Diego found the holy corpse left eye will be used. To make the fight fair, alternate Diego will have his traps like barbed wire and gasoline with him to fully utilize his fighting capabilities. Also, alternate Diego from now on will be referred to as Dio, to avoid any confusion. So without further ado, let's begin the stand showdown. The green grassy plains outside of Kansas City. 
Diego and Dio met on horseback and both have an urge to fight each other. After throwing a couple of insults at each other and a few badass Jojo poses, the battle begins. Diego, when approached by a new opponent according to his general characteristics, would be to analyze his false moves and tactics to determine the best form of attack. Hence, he would dismount and create dinosaurs from any living beings around the area like flies or insects, and carefully watch Dio and his stun from afar. Since Garamond's range won't be a problem, this will force Dio to be the one to attack first, since he will constantly be attacked by smaller dinosaurs. Also, it will reveal his stand when he defends himself from the dinos. Dio being an alternate version of Diego would most likely have a similar strategic idea, since they really are the same person for the most part. Hence, Dio would start placing traps around the area, however, since the battle is in an open plane, this would be hard for him, and instead, he will most likely have to rely on his time stop and knives to win the battle. Thus, he needs to get close to Diego, which he can't really do. Hence, his most valuable strategy would be to use a tactical retreat to escape the dinos and to force Diego to follow him, exploiting any opportunities where an opening of attack is possible. I believe that Diego would realize Dio needing to get close to him to win, thus never giving him the chance to do so. Which is why, in an environment like this, I think that Diego exploiting Scary Monster's range makes it so that Dio cannot approach Diego without first stopping time. And even if he stops time, just to move closer, the 5 seconds would not be enough to close in on Diego's position, and this would leave Dio vulnerable to Diego's Utah Raptor transformation when time returns his flow. So really, all of this depends on if Diego can even create dinos in the first place, since without them, he would most definitely be neutralized by Dio using his time stop at an opportune moment. So overall, Diego wins the first battle. Let's see if Dio can fully utilize his abilities better in the next one. The Rocky Mountain Village no villagers are present during the fight, since they all fled after knowing that Dio would sacrifice them for the sake of winning. In this environment, Dio's traps can be fully utilized, so he has a greater chance to win. Same setup, and the battle begins. Riding horses in this village would be almost impossible, so both Stan uses this mount as this fight starts. This time, Dio starts placing traps like barbed wire around the area, since it's possible in such an environment. Diego would likely use a similar tactic as before, analyzing Dio's stun before engaging, However, with the buildings around, Dio can place traps while still out of sight of Diego, thus forcing Diego to pursue him. In an enclosed environment, the traps combined with the sudden possibility of an ambush from Dio throwing his knives in stop time will leave Diego at a huge disadvantage. I believe that Diego is too careful to fall for one of Dio's traps, however, they will limit his stun scary monsters, since in his transformed state, Diego cannot dodge the barbed wire, and his larger minions would likely get hurt or even perish by the traps. As seen in the end of Steel Ball Run, in the fight between alternate Diego vs Johnny Joestar, even the most powerful of stun users cannot compare in a closed environment with the alternate Diego. His tactics when the element of surprise is possible is deadly, and thus I believe that in such an environment, Dio is superior. Diego will most likely have a tough time even with his dinos, since the traps combined with the time stop can neutralize many foes at a rapid pace. Dio can also light a crowd on fire using his gasoline, killing many dinosaurs at the same time. In this way, Diego's stand scary monsters will be unable to be fully utilized, much like the world in the previous fight. Hence, Dio would be undeniably the victor in this battle. But according to these battles, Dio using the world is highly effective when his tactical trap placement and time stop can be fully utilized. However, in most fights when the possibility of surprise is not available, Diego and scary monsters are more versatile and thus would win in most battles. Don't forget that alternate Diego can win even against the most powerful stand users when his fighting capabilities are fully available. So overall, Diego Brando wins this stand showdown. I hope you enjoyed this analysis, since it was fun to talk about the best incarnation of Dio in the Jojo's Adventure series. Arrivederci.